Hi, this is Shane Wintrid. Welcome to the set of tutorials on the Dungeon Level Builder. Uh, in this uh, set of tutorials, you're going to learn how to build this uh, scene that you see right here. Um, now, the logic with the character shooting and whatnot might not be included uh, in this tutorial. Uh, it's uh, going to be more focused on actually building the level that you see here. Um, you can use Dungeon Level Builder to uh, build 3D levels and 2D levels in Unity, both uh, within the editor and at runtime. Um, I created Dungeon Level Builder um, to be uh, my go-to solution for procedurally generated dungeon-like levels. Um, it's flexible enough to actually build any kind of level you can imagine if you can code up the level builder uh, and uh, I'll get into that a little later on but uh, there are a whole bunch of uh, different procedural level generation uh, assets out there on the Unity Asset Store and what I found after using a few of them was that um, a large number of them had uh, functionality, they were good, they had functionality that was nice, but they also had a lot of functionality that I would never use when, when I was creating my level. And the functionality that I would indeed use uh, was uh, not refined in the sense that uh, for every little bit of change that I needed to make to my level, I would have to touch the code. And even though I am a programmer uh, first and then uh, a game developer, my, my strong suit is programming. Um, I don't appreciate having to touch uh, the code every single time I need to make a change uh, to my level. That was the whole point of, uh, of buying uh, an asset to make sure that, uh, an asset with visual theming to make sure that I never had to uh, actually code in all these uh, statements and conditions to make sure that I could get my level to look the way I wanted it to. And uh, that's what I've tried to accomplish with Dungeon Level Builder. It has uh, the visual theming system that you see here where uh, uh, game object prefabs can be connected uh, to uh, nodes that spawn, uh, not nodes that spawn, uh, tags that spawn within the level. And uh, probabilities can be assigned uh, to these game objects. Let me dock this over here probabilities uh, can be assigned to these game objects and uh, game objects can, can be connected to other game objects and uh, uh, they can also be connected to empty nodes uh, with uh, offsets uh, to, to basically accomplish uh, any kind of uh, setup that you'd like. Uh, now while this itself is, is uh, a powerful feature of Dungeon Level Builder my personal favorite feature of, uh, of Dungeon Level Builder is the fact that we have uh, these visual patterns that uh, can be used to define uh, any structure you'd want to decorate. So for instance, uh, in this scene I have uh, um, a few different custom title tags, is what they're called. Uh, shipping containers, wooden containers, uh, enemy spawn points, security station, laser doors, and the megaphone. And each of these uh, custom title tags uh, are selected uh, after checking with uh, a particular pattern. Now, for instance, the shipping container pattern uh, spawns when there are two permanent obstacles next to each other. Uh, now, say you were trying to do this uh, in your code, you would either have to uh, permanently um, code this functionality in, meaning uh, code a situation where there are two permanent obstacles next to, next to each other, and then spawn uh, uh, a title tag for shipping containers like this one. But uh, using the dungeon level designer, you can basically define uh, you can go add custom title tag, go um, shipping container, and let's just do 01 because if I did shipping container 
uh, containers, it would throw an error saying that it was already defined. So let's just do 01 and have uh, the pattern selected over here. And in this case, I also have uh, uh, a negation pattern, which I will explain all of this in more detail a little later on. Uh, but once I've done this, I can go in here and say add a custom title tag, and I have the option of the title tag that I just created. And this lets me add and, and decorate my level in, 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 in any way I'd like to. Uh, without ever having to touch the code. And so you have these uh, shipping containers over here that have been placed where uh, you have two permanent obstacles next to each other. So they are placed in, in ways that never actually impede uh, the player from getting to uh, um, any point on the level because uh, the, the obstacles have been generated in such a way that uh, the player will never be impeded from, from reaching a particular point in the level. But again, just an introduction video, and uh, this is what you're going to program, uh, not program, bad word, not bad word, <laughs> but uh, not an app word for what we're trying to do here. Um, but this is what you're going to build uh, in the set of tutorials. So, off to the first video.